this is a question from winter 2017 question paper 42 you write that down winter 17 uh, question paper 42 and Lumpur wants to know this one um how do we get this guy chlorine dioxide all right now let's do a bit of basic stuff chlorine has an electronic structure of 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p5 and if we were to draw that in our boxes it would look like this now there you go it's not very pretty but there you go now i'm ignoring um, these these inner shells i'm just looking at the outer shells here i'm looking at the 3s2 3p5 so let me draw those in this is the 3s2 and this is the 3p5 so one two three four five and how, how many bonds would you expect this to make well there you go there's one unpaired electron and so you'd imagine chlorine to make one bond and it does and let's have a look hcl okay let's do green for the chlorine electrons and a, whatever this color is oh, green is again for green for um for hydrogen electron and this is hcl okay and as you can see chlorine has eight electrons in the outer shell and what do we say we say it obeys the octet rule okay we say it obeys the octet rule and there you go because it's got eight all right but let's do something slightly different with chlorine now there's the three s2s these are the three p5s and now let's introduce the three d's Okay, now let me split these up. That splits up into three, two, three, four, five. And then we put my electrons in. One, two, three, four, five. This is the same as this top one, obviously, 3P, 3S, 3D. Okay, now it's the same as the top one. So, but what I can do, if I'm careful anyway, I can get rid of, not very well, can I get rid of that electron there? Okay, there were two in here, and promote it. Okay, now chlorine can make three bonds. And now for the one that we have to do, let's try and get rid of another one there. It's not working very well, is it? And I promote that one to here. And now chlorine can actually make five bonds because it has five unpaired electrons. Okay, now let's have a look at chlorine in this state. There's my CL. Let me draw my lone pair. Let me see. There's the lone pair. This one is these two. And now let me draw five. One, two, three, four, five. And let's add them to oxygen. Uh, let's have a look. Oxygen there. And then oxygen there. Let me get a different color. And now make that a double bond. And make this a double bond. And then put these in there. And we end up with chlorine dioxide. Okay, so what would this look like? This would look like Cl. Oops, Cl. Double bond, double bond. O, O. And there would be a lone pair. And there's also an unpaired. So this guy is actually a free radical. Okay, because of the unpaired electron there. All right, so the dot and cross diagram for ClO2, well, I've drawn it there. Let me draw it nicer, maybe. Up the top, let's do a big circle for chlorine. Nice big circle for oxygen. Nice big circle for oxygen. Let's label these things. Let's use a different color. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's draw these in green. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And there we have chlorine dioxide. Now this phenomena is known as expansion of the octet. Okay, this is called expansion of the octet. Okay, and if you play around with it, you can if if i promote one of these to one of these 
chlorine actually can have seven bonds. Okay, it can have seven bonds because it has seven unpaired electrons. All right, now let me try and think of a seven. I think it will have seven in this Cl2 O7. Oh, I'd be scared. To, how would I draw that? I think it's uh, something like this Cl, Cl. One there, one there. One, two. One, two, three, four. Oh, and well, this is, I'm struggling here, aren't I? Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, maybe there's another one in there. That would fit, wouldn't it? I'm going to look that up and see if I'm right in a minute. All right, CL207. Let me see if I can do it now. And if, I, if, if I'm right, um, I'll post it. I'll post the picture. Okay, CL207. Maybe this is a... Oh, it does exist. It's chlorine heptoxide. And I'm wrong. Okay, um, I'm not very wrong, but I'm a bit wrong. All right, so let's have a look at uh, the correct picture of chlorine heptoxide. Let me get a screen snip of this and post it. Whoops, wrong one. Hold on, this is taking ages. Sorry about this, this isn't working too well. Uh, where's my screen snipper? All right, sorry about this. Let me put this over there. It's hard working with two screens, you see. It's a bit weird. Uh, this, should be, this should work. There we are. Do that. Save that. Okay. Now, and now let me move this up and put the right one on. Hold up. I won't be long. Sorry to take so long here. I didn't want this to be a long video, but there you go. Oops. That. And there you go. That's the right answer, isn't it? That's CL207. Oh, I was nearly close. All right. <clears throat> but there you go. CL207. And that shows uh, chlorine with an oxidation of, um, of plus seven. All right. Why is this allowed? Well, because of this idea of the ox... Um, ox ugh, the ox... Not oxidation at all. The expansion of the octet. All right. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.